It's just so hard to tell on the back of that little camera. And I'm pretty sure I heard him rolling down the hill. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't, I, I want to go over there because I think I heard him rolling. But I know I need to give it to him. I know I need to give it to him. That might, this might be the biggest fuck in my life. Oh my god, I cannot believe that happened. Oh, you're on the board. I don't know, I'm just, that's a really big deer. Look at this deer. Freaking stud. This is without a doubt the biggest deer of my life. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of No Rest November. It is mid October. I've got a buck daylighting morning and night here in one of the Bow Only counties. So I just made the long haul down, had to do it. It's going to be a Hail Mary because the weather is completely different from when this buck was daylighting. We've got like a 20 degree spike in the temperature, completely different wind, the pressure's different, everything's different but I felt like I still had to drive down here and try because he's been showing up so much. So it's about 2.30. I'm going to finish getting dressed, get my bow, get all my gear, go get in the blind, and keep my fingers crossed he shows up. So I'm on the way to the blind right now. It is so windy. I mean, it's not the perfect direction for this spot. It's not the worst either, but... I'm not gonna lie, I don't have really high hopes for this sit tonight. All right, I'm in the blind. I'm ready to go. It's still pretty hot, so I'm not gonna put my black hoodie on yet, but as it gets closer to time, I'm gonna get the black hoodie on, have the hat turned around, and my Huntworth mask turned inside out to where the dark side shows. So that way, everything that you can see through the blind windows will be pretty much dark, and I should be hitting pretty well in here. Um, it's pretty close quarters in this spot. If you watched my deer hunt from last year, this is the same blind, same spot that I killed that eight point out of. So I try and keep this spot really low pressure. I only come in here when I absolutely think I need to. It worked for me last year. We'll see if it works this year. Tell you what, the deer have been wearing this spot out. I'm looking in the back corner of the field and there's a tree about that big around, just ripped to shreds. It's just gonna be a matter of time before I get one in here. There's a doe.
guys, I really don't know what to say right now. I hit solid bone on that, but right after the shot, I think I heard him go down. <laughs> it's either solid bone and I got nothing, or I punched his heart. I don't know. <laughs> That's a really big deer. It's just so hard to tell on the back of that little camera, and I'm pretty sure I heard him roll down the hill. Well guys, you're not gonna believe this. I got out of the blind to uh, go down to the house and rewatch the footage on a computer, get some dinner and just give him some time because I really wasn't too sure about the shot where I didn't get a lot of penetration. But when I got out of the blind, I was like, you know what? Let's walk to the edge of the field and just see if I can find blood or anything. And when I went to do that, this is what I found. He didn't make it out of the field guys so what I thought happened actually happened he tried to make it up the hill and he rolled back down didn't go anywhere I heart shot him but it um it went through his leg broke the bones there into the heart and he didn't go anywhere but uh, obviously I'm not prepared to film in the dark right now I'm just using my phone so I'm gonna run down to my house get all of my recovery stuff the four-wheeler and the lights and I'll get back with you all right, so I just went down, got the four-wheeler, got my dad. There he is. Say hi, Dad. Hey, what's up? Um, so we just, I mean, there wasn't any drag at all, really. He was just um, in that, in those woods right there. And the blind is probably, it's 35 yards to this wood line. And he just went up the hill, crashed, rolled back down. And here he is. He was dead in about seven seconds. So I'm going to get him all propped up, you know, usual stuff, and get some pictures and check back in with you. All right, guys, here he is. This is the deer that I made the three and a half hour drive for. He was showing up on the cell cameras morning, afternoon, just pretty much all day and all night he was in here. So I knew I had to take advantage of it while I could. So um, one thing I do want to mention, though, is you probably noticed I didn't get a lot of penetration on that shot. And that's because it went in right on this... I don't know if you call it a, a joint or something, but right here on his front leg, and it broke through that and went into his heart. And I was shooting a 620, 622 grain uh, Sirius Gemini with the 100 grain half jacket insert system and the tough head 200 grain wide with bleeders. So I had a lot of FOC in that. I think it was like 24, 23, 24% FOC. Gave me just enough to bust through that bone and get in the heart, you know? Uh, an arrow that probably isn't as well built or a little bit lighter, less FOC, might not have been able to do that. So I'm pretty happy that I stuck with that arrow this year. It's done well for me in the past, done well tonight. Um, if you remember last year, this is the second time I've drove down and shot a buck on my first trip down here to Logan. So I'm on cloud nine right now. I love it. No Rest November is off to an amazing start for the team. We've got several bucks on the ground, and it's not even November yet. So check out the No Rest November merch. Tag us in all your stuff this fall, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>